So you're looking for tips to love yourself better? You came to the right channel. So welcome back, it's Andrew Pierre. This is The Power View with Andrew. And in today's video, it's gonna be a step-by-step -step tip guide for self-love is the best love. Shout out to Tiana Taylor. But anyways, <laughs> welcome back to the channel as I stated. So let's get right into it. Now, when it comes to self-love guys, I feel like it's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to discuss. Because I'm all about the power of you and making sure you're in a better place so you can better help people. I mean, oftentimes we do hear the phase, hey, in order to save others, you need to save yourself. That's my model. That's my mantra of my life. So when it comes to self-love, stay tuned. These are the tips that you really need to increase the love that you have for yourself. So tip number one, date yourself. Now, I know that may sound weird to a lot of you guys out there, but dating yourself is actually going to grow your self-love and self-awareness. Okay, guys? And what do I mean by date yourself? Ask you or ask your higher self. Have you ever went to the movies by yourself? Have you ever went to the bar by yourself? Are you scared to go to a restaurant and have a table for one by yourself? If the question is no, you need to look into that. Because when you actually go out into the world by yourself, you learn what you actually like and what you don't like. Um, what is something that turns you on and what are certain things that don't turn you on? What are certain things that you like to run towards or certain things you don't like to be bothered with? So actually dating by yourself is actually pretty, it's pretty hot. You know, you actually will actually attract like more people out as well. So when you're out there and about, people actually see that as a sign of confidence. Like, wow, this guy is actually out here doing this by himself or wow. This chick is actually doing this by herself. She's actually sitting by the bar, you know, back straight, enjoying a good time, not in her cellar device or on her tablet, which would be weird if you have a tablet by the bar. But yeah, but anyways, dating yourself is very, very important because that builds your self-confidence, which is linked to your self-love. So my first tip, once again, is dating yourself. Tip number two, everyone loves compliments. Why not give yourself a compliment? So when it comes down to complimenting yourself, that is one of my second tips. If you feel you look good in that dress, look in the mirror and say, you know what? You look good, girl. Or if you're a dude, hey, you, you like that shirt? You look good, bro. Hey, Andrew, I like this red shirt. Red makes me look, you know, powerful. Compliments my lips. Compliment yourself. It's never cheesy to look yourself in the mirror and give yourself a nice boost in the form of a compliment. So compliment yourself is actually a great way to boost your self-love. Because when you, once again, I actually have a video about smelling good, looking good and all that things to boost your confidence. So make sure you check that out. But yeah, definitely want to compliment yourself because that is also a powerful tool for self-love. Do not wait for people to compliment you. You know, you're... Love is not dictated upon what others say or think about you rather than what you say and think about yourself, okay? So make sure you look in that mirror. Make sure you walk down that street. Make sure you go into that office at your job. Make sure you walk into that school with your head up high and make sure you walk through and say, you know what? I am the hottest person here. Even if sometimes you may not feel it, but project it and be confident in your compliments for yourself and lastly guys and this quick tip about how you can actually have a step-by-step -step access to self-love guess what it's as simple as the word n o okay practice it no practice saying no okay don't be a yes man say no because oftentimes we're in a position where some of us, not me, but some of us, but you know what? I don't want to say no. You know, I really want to do this. I don't want to offend anyone. I don't want to hurt anyone. Screw them, all right? This video is about self-love. So if you're not saying no, you're actually pretty much taking away your self-love. And I'm not saying in one shot. No one's saying you can't help people when you need to or every now and then or whenever. But if you're constantly pouring everyone else's cup, your cup is going to be left empty. And that's not contributing to self-love because self-love 
is coming from a place of self-awareness. It's coming from a place of self-preservation. So you need to be in a position to actually make sure that you're fully loving yourself by saying no when you need to. All right? Say no when you need to. Practice this with me. N-O. I'm not available. I am not going to do that. Love you, but that is not part of what I want to do. So practicing the art of saying no is my third and final tip for this video at least on how to fully practice self-love. So there you have it, guys. These are my three tips. Once again, you want to date yourself, even if it's going to the store by yourself. No cell phone. I know in this day and age it sounds weird, but just date yourself or go to the park by yourself. Take a walk by yourself. Really engage and date yourself as if you were with another person. And for my singles out there, guess what? You will start to attract people like-minded. And for my couples out there, you become better as one when you know who you are. Self-love. Second tip is complimenting yourself. Taking the time out to build your self-esteem by what you're wearing, what you're putting on, your fragrance, how you smell, how you look. If you have a favorite lipstick, if you have a favorite way you wear your hair, if you're, you got a fresh cut, dude, I don't have no hair, but I still feel like I look good. <laughs> For my guys that get haircuts, whatever, whatever it is that you do to make yourself good, make yourself feel good, to compliment yourself, you want to make sure you go ahead and do that on a constant and day-by-day -day basis. It's not arrogant. It's self-love. And finally, practicing the word no. You're not a doormat. You need to preserve your sexy. You need to preserve your mindset. You need to preserve your freedom. You need to preserve everything that makes you you. And practicing no takes back that power, which will then you can harness. And guess what? You're creating self-love. So yeah, so this was my quick video today, guys, on the art of self-love and tips for self-love, of course. This is The Power View with Andrew. If you made it this far in the video, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'm actually growing tremendously. I know I just started this maybe a month ago in my YouTube journey. It's a great one because I'm walking in my path, which is helping those find the value within themselves. Understand the power of the mind to get what you want. That's what I'm here for, guys. So feel free to leave a comment if you reach this far in the video saying, you know what? I love myself. Or actually leaving this video one of your favorite things about yourself because I would love to hear what you guys have to say about what's going on. Once again, like, share, and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video. And this is The Power of You, signing out.